sorry. You thought about how you'd do it? Yes. Do you have what you need to do? Yes. When do you plan to do it? Now. sound like how I thought you would. No. How do you think it sounds? I don't know, really. It's just different. Different how? I don't know. I thought you'd be a local. Mm. Well, I'm sorry to disappoint you. No, no. You, you didn't disappoint me. So, what's been going on in your life? My, my wife left me. Took the kids with her. She, she threatened to tell everyone. Don't you have anyone else you can turn to for help? No. I just want to end it. Why? I, I just told you why, my No, I mean, why haven't you already done it? What? Why did you call me instead? I don't, I don't know. Why I... did you call me? Because I felt lonely. I want you to listen closely. The next question is extremely important. Okay. Does anyone else know what you're about to do? No. Have you left a note for anyone to find? Yeah, I, I left it I for don't... sure. Want to know names? I left it for my wife. I wanted to, to, to tell the kids that I love them and that this wasn't their fault. And did you mention you were going to phone this number? No. I'm scared. You should be. Does it hurt? Does what hurt? Dying. Does it hurt? I imagine so. It doesn't hurt as much as it does to keep living. What? Cut this shit. What did you say? You heard me. If you had a set of balls, the only time I'd be hearing about your circumstances would be in a 25 word obituary column in tomorrow's papers. You don't know what I've gone through. Oh, your wife left you, did she? <laughs> Get a grip. We've all got problems, mate. I've got a bunion the size of a hot air balloon, but I'm not throwing myself into the Thames over. Why are you so insensitive? Because it breaks my heart to see guys in your predicament not having the balls to take control of their situation. I don't have the balls. I'm standing on the end of a pier, ready to kill myself. Yeah, on the phone to me. I'm gonna do it. Well, quit stalling and do it then. Reach into your trousers and find those balls that have gone missing at this crucial moment and go for a panel. You don't think I'll do it, do you? I'm gonna jump. How long is the rope? The what? The rope. How long is it? Long. How long? About 18 feet. Why? Well, how deep is the pier? I don't know. Deep? I bet it's you know, five meters deep. I bet the rope is longer than the pier, you idiot. <laughs> you don't want to do this, do you? Of course I do. I wouldn't be here if I didn't. No, you don't. You're just trying to seek attention. If you wanted to kill yourself, you would have done it by now. If you put yourself into the situation, you lost your wife and kids. And then you try to lump all your problems with me. Do you know how tough this is? It's the hardest decision I've ever had to make in my life. How tough it is for you? Do you know how tough it is for me to listen to people like you, day in and day out, moaning and bitching about their problems? Me trying to give them hope and telling them why they shouldn't end it. Sad excuses for lives at the other end of this phone. Will you take the piss? You should do it. You should do it right now. And spare the human race the misfortune of having to share the same air as you. I don't know if I can. Look, this is your life. And it's ending by the second. I don't know if I can. I can't jump. Self improvement won't help. Self destruction is the only answer. I can't do it. Look, if you don't know what you want, you're going to end up with a lot that. No. You have to. You have to. Give up. You have to realise you're gonna die. And until you accept that, you're useless. I can't do it. Just back and no. do it. Do it. Do no, it. No, no, do no, it. no. Do it. Do it. Do it. No. Do it. No. Just do it. I couldn't do it. Are you okay? Yeah. yeah. Right. I just need to know you're not going to do this again. I won't. And do me a favour, will you? What? Talk to your wife. 
Try and sort things out between yourselves. I will. Don't take this the wrong way, but we don't want to hear from you again. I won't. You're not exactly orthodox, are you? No. I offer a unique service. I've got a different talent than most. I've figured out how to make it benefit others. You see, most people who commit suicide, they don't want to die. They just want to stop the pain of living. I try and ease that pain. Thank you. You're welcome.